Hey folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is on patterns on the multiplication table. So we're going to go over a few patterns on the multiplication table, and hopefully your teacher will go over some more with you in class, But because there's all kinds of patterns on here. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Our common core strand is given there for our teachers, and so how can we use uh, patterns with the multiplication table here? So let's go ahead and try it here. So we're going to, here's a blank multiplication table right here. We're going to just focus on a few parts right here. Here's one. I want us to focus on those green squares going up uh, by the 8s right there. So diagonally going from 8 to 8. So write the products for the green squares and describe what we notice right here. Okay, so here it's going to be 8 times 0. 8 times 0 is uh, 0. 7 times 1 is 7. So I'm just going to go up there. So there's 8 times 0. 7 times 1. The next one is... 6 times 2, which is 12, and the next one is 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, we're going to focus on these numbers in a little bit, you guys. These are called perfect squares. It's 4 times 4 right there. 4 times 4 is called a perfect square. Later on in math, it'll be called 4 squared. Okay, so right here would be like 3 times 3 or 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 is also a perfect square. 5 times 5 is 25. This is a perfect square. 6 times 6 is 36. This would be 7 times 7. 8 times 8. 9 times 9. Finally, 10 times 10 is 100. Those are all perfect squares, but that's later in, the, in this lesson. Okay, there's a 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 12 is, I'm sorry, 2 times 6 is 12. And then 1 times 7. And finally, 0 times 8. Okay? All right, so what do we notice about those numbers? Well, they kind of they kind of centered like this is like a teeter totter right here. Whatever happens from this perfect square happens going this way. Look, 15 on this side, 15 on this side. Here's the perfect square again. Look, if I go two back, it goes to 12. If I go two back that way, it goes to 12. Whatever happens on one side happens on the other. If I go three back, I get to seven. Look, if I go three back, I get to seven. Okay, so that's one pattern. I didn't write that down. Uh, but that's one pattern right there, okay? So here's the number, 0, 7, 12, 15, 16, 15, 12, 7, 0. So it's just those numbers right there uh, going up right there, okay? So look at this other pattern right here. This goes plus 7, and then 7 plus 5 equals 12, 12 plus 3 equals uh, 15, 15 plus 1 equals 16, and all of a sudden it goes back down. 16 minus 1 is 15, 15 minus 3 12 minus 5, 7 minus 7, okay? So there's a pattern with those numbers right there. There's plus 7, plus 5, plus 3, plus 1. Then it goes down 1, down 3, down 5, down 7, okay? So here they are all spread out right there. And I highlighted uh, 16 in red, you guys, because... Um, uh, that's our perfect square. Whatever happens on this, this is like my teeter-totter. Whatever's on the left is on the right right there, okay? So um, if I go plus 1 over here, I'm sorry, when I'm going to the right, it goes, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So here I went plus 7, plus 5, plus 3, plus 1. Look at these numbers up here. They're called consecutive odd numbers. They increase by the next uh, uh, smaller odd number. So plus 7, then the smaller odd number below 7 is 5. The smaller odd number below 5 is 3, and then 1, and then and then it starts going down 1, decreasing. 16 minus 1 is 15, 15 minus 3. So I said something like this, you guys. I said uh, going diagonally, they increase by odd numbers, and the odd numbers are going down. They go from... They go from 7 to 5 to 3 to 1. They go down. And then uh, when you get to 16 times 16, the perfect square, the numbers decrease by odd numbers. And the odd numbers are actually, uh, they go, they're increasing. So this is negative 1, then negative 3, then negative 5. Later on, when you get into higher mathematics classes, that means they're actually decreasing. Negative 3 is actually smaller than negative 1. But something like that. Say something like that. Okay. Then, let's do that with the yellow squares right here. So find the product of the yellow squares. Is the pattern the same? Okay, there's uh, 6 times 0, 5 times 1, 4 times 2, 2 times, uh, I'm sorry, 3 times 3. There's my perfect square, 3 times 3, uh, 2 times 4, 1 times 5, and then finally 0 times 6. Look at this perfect square right there. I got an 8 on that side and an 8 on that side. And look at it again. If I go back 2, I got a 5 on that side and a 5 on that side. I got a 0 over there and a 0 over there. So it's said to be symmetrical. It's like a mirror. 
whatever happens on the left happens on the right. There's my mirror, so this side is equal to this side right here. Okay, another pattern is this. This went up 5, up 3, up 1. Then we get to the perfect square, then it starts going down 1, down 3, down 5. So is it happening with the same pattern right there? I said, uh, yes, it is the same pattern, except that it begins with the next smaller odd number, because this one jumped at plus 7 right there. Okay? All right, probably your teacher's going to ask you to start right here and go up, okay? So it's same, probably same kind of pattern. In fact, it is, you guys. So try it with the purple square. See if the same pattern happens, okay? So here's 4 times 0, 3 times 1, 2 times 2 is my perfect square. So there's my mirror, my teeter-totter balancing point. 1 times 3, 0 times 4, okay? There's all those numbers right there, okay? Do you see the same pattern happening? There they are. So uh, plus 3, plus 1, and then minus 1, minus 3. So... Uh, I do see the same pattern right here. All right, so now let's complete these blue columns right here. Columns go up and down, you guys. I think a columns like a, those pillars at a Colosseum, you guys. Pillars at a Colosseum go up and down, so columns go up and down. And the other ones that go sideways are called rows, you guys. So let's complete these. So here's this going to be 0 times 1, 1 times 1, 2 times 1, 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 1, 5 times 1 is 5, and so on. So I'm going to, there's all the, uh, my column for 1s. And let's do the 5s. 0 times 5, 1 times 5, 2 times 5. And you guys know how to count by 5. So 5, 10, 15. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. So, um, uh, so uh, there's all those numbers right there. Okay, now let's do the sixes. Here's uh, 0 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. And what I'm doing is I'm just adding 6. So 24 plus 6 would get me 30. And that's what 5 times 6 is. Add 6 more. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why it's picking it up. Add 6 more. Um, so 36 is 6 times 6. And that's my, uh, uh, my perfect square. Okay, 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, so there we go. So here's the column for 5s, you guys. These column for 5s is, is 5 times the columns for 1s. So look at this number right here. 30 is 5 times this number right here. 35 is 5 times this number. 40 is 5 times this number. So what do I notice? Well, I notice that the column for 5s is 5 times the column for 1s right there. Okay, so for example, 40 is 5 times 8. This 40 is 5 times this number. Okay, the column for 6s, you guys, is the column for 5s plus uh, the 1 column for 1s. So this 48 right here is going to be uh, the column for 5s, which is 40, plus the 1s column, plus 8. This 45 is, uh, I'm sorry, this 54 right here is this 45 plus 9. This 60 is this 50 plus 10. So this says the 6 columns is the 5 columns plus the 1's columns, okay? In that row right there. It has to be in that row. So for example, this 48 equals the 5's column plus the 1's column, okay? So check this out, you guys. 48 is the same as um, uh, uh, 8 times 6, you guys. So here I have 8 times 6 right here. Okay, and that's going to be the same as 8 times 5 plus 1, and 8 times 5 is this 40, and 8 times uh, 1 is this 8 right here. Do you remember what this property is called when we put the number through the parentheses? It's called a distributive property, okay? So you might get asked that. All right, uh, so let's shade the rows for the zeros, twos, sixes, uh, uh, eights, and tens. Oops, I didn't put eights in there. So we're going to do all the, the rows for the zeros the twos and we're going to shade them in yellow so there's going to be lots of yellow here so but there's lots of yellows right there and then it's going to ask us what do we notice about each of those shaded rows well let's look at all these numbers these are all zeros this number is zero two four six eight these are all multiples of twos this number is zero four eight twelve well look at all these numbers they're all even numbers every number in here is even every number that's in a yellow one they're all even numbers that's about all I can see if you can see something else I'd love to hear from you just uh, just uh, put it in the comment right there I'd love to see what you guys come up with okay so compare the rows for two and four what do you notice okay so we're gonna look at this row okay and this row right here okay look at this 16 16 is twice 8 Look at this. I'm just picking a row in row 4, a number in row 4. 32 
is twice 16. It looks like every number in row 4 is twice the number in row 2, and that's that's what I see on that. So the number of uh, the, the the numbers that are in row 4 are twice the numbers that are in row 2. All right. Uh, lastly, let's find uh, the perfect squares, you guys. The perfect squares are, and I forgot to put in there, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3. So I want us to find this diagonal right here. Okay, so there they are. There's all the perfect squares. Look, here's 7 times 7 is 49. All right, and so what do you notice about those numbers right there? What pattern do you see? So here they are right there. Look at this, you guys. This is kind of a neat pattern. Uh, this goes up plus 1. From 1 to 4 is 3. From 4 to 5 is 9. From 9 to 16 is, is um, did I say 9 is 5? From 9 to 16 is 7. Well, let's write those up there, you guys. Okay, so that's how much they're going up. Look at they keep going up and the next odd number. Plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. And then from 25 to 36 is plus 11. And from 36 to 49 is plus 13. 49 plus 15 is 64. 64 plus 17. 81 plus 19. Okay, what's the next number? If I add it right here, it would be 21. What's 100 plus 21? That's 121. That would be 11 times 11. That's 121. And the next one would be plus 23. 121 plus 23 is 144, which is 12 times 12. That's pretty good stuff. All right, you guys. Take care.